animals. Do the most incredible things. Like this. And this. I bet you're wondering, how do they do that? We're revealing animals' biggest secrets. Like, how do bees find nectar? Why do cats have whiskers? And how can a jellyfish live forever? These wonders and more on How Do Animals Do That? Honeybees, one of the wonders of the insect world. They rely on sweet sugary nectar as their main source of food. And they're on a mammoth mission to find enough to feed their entire colony. In one day, a bee can cover an area of around six miles and visit up to 2,000 flowers. It's a monumental task, made even harder because not all flowers contain nectar. So, how do bees find nectar? A hive in a country garden. Inside, 60,000 bees. The queen is tended by males whose sole purpose is to mate with their majesty. It's the females that do all the work and bring back the food. They are expert nectar hunters. An all-girl scout party preps for a recon patrol of the big flowery world. Their mission, should they choose to accept it, to find a source of juicy nectar and report back. To find the nectar, these ladies have some amazing super senses. Two tiny antennae can trace the scent of flowers from a mile away. They have a whopping 170 odor receptors, a hundred times more powerful than a human's sense of smell. Helping the bee to follow the faintest whiff of a nectar trail all the way to the source. To tell a flower with nectar from one without, another instrument from the bee's SuperSense toolbox kicks in. Their eyes. Bees have five eyes which give them a 300 degree wide angle view. They can also see different kinds of light, including ultraviolet, which we can't see. This is a flower as we see it. Now this is what the bee sees. The UV light reveals a hidden pattern within the flower, identifying where nectar can be found. It's like lights on a runway guiding the bee into land. Touchdown, right on the nectar. But there's an even more unbelievable method bees use to find the sweet stuff. They can sense an invisible force found in all living things. Electricity. Bee expert Professor Daniel Robert demonstrates this amazing bee power with a machine. This flower has a small electric field surrounding itself. We can't see it, we can't feel it. This electrode here will basically detect that. And this device will convert that into a sound. Incredibly, this sound is made by the flower's natural electrical charge. That's right, you're listening to flower power. Bees can sense this electric charge and are drawn towards the flower. As the bee moves in, the sound of Professor Robert's machine changes. This is a little bit like when one rubs a balloon over her head. The balloon sticks to the wall whilst her hair tends to brush up like this. But that's not all. By flapping their tiny wings at 230 beats a second, bees create so much friction they give themselves an electrical charge. So, when a bee takes nectar from the flower, the charges interact. And amazingly, the bee's own electrical charge cancels out the flowers. So, when another bee flies over, it senses this change and knows there is no nectar to be found. It's like a neon sign to a bee saying, no nectar here, come back later. 
Once they've found the source of juicy sweet nectar, they head home to tell all the other bees and dish out directions. The problem is, they're not great talkers. Instead, they like to express themselves through the medium of dance. This is no tango. Incredible as it may seem, this waggle dance is giving precise directions. It's a secret code that reveals the exact location of the nectar. And scientists have found a way to decipher it. It's always a figure eight. And the width of the waggle shows how far the nectar is from the hive. The wider, the farther. The angle of the dance reveals the direction. And it's incredibly accurate. It's like going back to the office and telling your friends, hey, they are handing out free pizzas on 3rd Street. Armed with a B version of GPS, this single colony will visit around 500 million flowers in just one year. Given how clever these brilliant bees are, I'm sure it won't be long before they work out how to order nectar online. Cats, they're cute, sometimes very cute, and lazy, sometimes very lazy. They love to play. Hello. They have fabulous fur to stay warm. Yes. Killer claws to catch prey. And whiskers to, hmm, what are whiskers for? Is this fabulous feline moustache just for show? Why do cats have whiskers? This is Tiger and his best friend, Clark. Two beautiful cats with two incredible sets of whiskers. And their human servant is Dan. OK, guys, here you go. Sure, Dan has some great facial hair, but no thick whiskers like Tiger and Clark. He does know about cats, though. He's a cat consultant. My job is basically to help people interpret their cats a little bit better. I think people a lot of times don't understand what their cats are telling them, and uh, I help them be better servants to their cats. Dan knows Tiger's facial hairs aren't just there to look good. Along with his sight, smell, and hearing, Tiger's whiskers are a crucial part of his prey detection system. And Dan is going to demonstrate how. With this toy, we'll see what Tiger's whiskers are used for. Spotting his prey, Tiger's claws engage. In slow motion, you can see Tiger's whiskers also engage. First, they're flat by his face. But then he enters attack mode, throwing the whiskers forward to feel his prey. It's like a hairy targeting system locking on. And that's when Tiger strikes. He's got that mouth squashed. But why are they feeling for prey with their whiskers when they should be able to just see it? Well, it turns out cat vision isn't perfect. They can oftentimes lose track of something when it gets closer to them. Cat's eyes actually lose focus on anything less than 10 inches away. But instead of getting prescription cat glasses, they use their whisker detection system. Cat's whiskers are sensitive to vibrations in the air. As the air moves, the whiskers vibrate, allowing cats to sense the size and shape of nearby objects to go in for the kill. The whiskers can help them feel texture, vibration. It can even help them feel little differences in the air sometimes, so they can sense prey up really close. But these whiskers have another function. Because they're the same width as the cat's body, Whiskers help them feel whether they can make that tight squeeze, making cats the perfect purring predators. But it's not just domestic cats that have this amazing talent. Tiger's namesake has the same whisker detecting power. All big cats do, from wild cats up to the kings. And looking around the animal kingdom, 
Dogs, seals, rats, foxes, catfish, horses, otters, all have whiskers. Even our closest natural cousins, the chimpanzees, have them. It seems we're nature's weirdos, because we just grow plain old hair with no whisker power. Great beard, though. And cats also have whiskers where our eyebrows are. These help them hunt through long grass. If a blade of grass hits these whiskers, it triggers an instinct to blink and protect their gorgeous eyes.